Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Be Castled. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, please go and check it out. We ran into a little bit of issues, but we have certainly resolved them. Uh, we are getting ready to repair our wall, and the enemy breached that last time, so let's go ahead and get that repaired. And today, we're going to be building the church, which uh, our workers coming to build that right now. And that will allow us to respawn the 23 people we lost in combat. And hopefully be able to protect ourselves because our enemy is going to be coming right here. So we got to be careful. I'm assuming they're going to come straight down and right at this wall. So we need to be ready. Get all the archers we can over here to protect our little growing kingdom. So let's go ahead and start moving people over there. We're going to move this tower over there. So they can start to make that trudge. And then let's see if we can get another nine archers here. So this tower is missing two. So let's just go ahead and put these two up there. And that will allow us to send another nine. The church is still being built. Looks like it's almost ready. So let's go ahead and select this nine. That wall got repaired. Fantastic. And we'll put this nine in this tower just in case they decide to flank around. So they can start to make that walk. And that leaves us with with five or four and a swordsman. So let's go ahead and send them over there. But we'll grab the swordsman and put him down there. All right. And the church is done. There it goes. So it's a beautiful building. Nice made out of stone. So let's go ahead and get some workers assigned there. And they will start to respawn our troops. So we are losing about 20 food a minute. And we upgraded the fisherman hut last time, and we'll send this gentleman here, or this sun person here, to go start fishing some more fish for us to make sure we're not losing all this food. We've got 56 stone, and I looked at it earlier, I just want to confirm. It is 75 stone, there we go, 75 stone to make this wall stone, and I'd like to get that stone before the enemy comes, just so we protect it, and if we can get the... Uh, tower stone as well so that's 30 so that'd be 85 95 105 stone to protect that so we'll keep an eye on our stone and i think we should be good we've got four minutes and about 45 seconds until the next attack so we've got plenty of time down below in the comments let me know if you got yourself a little kingdom going how it's going if you've watched some of my previous videos uh, this is our, I think, third castle we've tried, but we've been doing a lot better. We're on the hills map, so it's a little bit easier to defend, um, but that also means it's a little harder to spread out. So, like, if I want to get these resources down here, these sheep down here, i got to go all the way around, even though this tile right here I own, and it's just down there. So there's some benefits and, obviously, some downsides to being up on a little hill like that. But hopefully we'll start to expand here. We've got everything we need for now. Stone, some sunstone, uh, fishing hole. I think the next tiles will start expanding this way. We'll leave this wall here so we have a second line of defense. But eventually I'd like to get these tiles over here so we can continue. We get some more sunstone. There's some of these boars, I think. Those look like boars. Get the food and leather from there so we can continue to, to grow this little kingdom and make it the best kingdom we can. All right, so it looks like some of the soldiers we have lost previously are starting to spawn back. So let's grab them. There's seven archers and a swordsman. So let's go ahead and grab these seven archers. And we're going to plop them right here. And away they go. And we're at 93 stone, so we should be good. We should have that 100, what I say, 105 to get this wall segment and this tower as stone so i'm assuming there'll be batting rams and catapults coming at us we want to make sure we are as well defended as we can so let's head and send that swordsman over there as well so we've got 13 more people to respawn we're 36 sunstone a minute so we'll want to probably upgrade one of these houses here so let's go ahead and upgrade let's go ahead and upgrade this one there we go and then that will give us a few more people and we will also upgrade the stone, or excuse me, sunstone workshop here. It does require 30, but I want to make sure we get this upgraded because uh, we're still doing okay on money and there's 11 people left to respawn. So we'll just have to kind of watch and balance our stone and our uh, sunstone. 75 stone. Let's go ahead and upgrade this wall section. Oh, that's pretty neat. Now, I think you can go double on the archers on the 
stone walls. Yeah. So you can see you, can, you got space for two archers. Let's go ahead and highlight these guys. Yeah. So we can get it double doubled up there. So let's actually go ahead and get them doubled up. So that's pretty neat there. Except they all look a little scattered. Let's try that again there, guys. There we go. They're spreading out there. And they will be ready to intercept the enemy as they show up. So that is fantastic. Let's go over here and see how many soldiers are respawned. We still got a minute and 50. Six more archers are ready to go. And let's plop them down right there. They can start making that truck. And was there, how are we doing on everything else? We are losing some sunstone now. Um, 37. Let's go ahead and upgrade this and get another sunstone worker so we're not losing too much money. Two more archers ready to go. And we'll put them right there. Fantastic. And I thought I saw a swordsman. Yep, two swordsmen. So let's get these swordsmen over here as well. And how long until our next attack? A minute and 15 seconds. All right, I think... I think we should be okay. We'll see what happens here. We've got 17 stone, and what I say for the tower, 30. Yeah, so it's going to be, uh, it'll be close if we'll get the, the amount we need before our time runs out. Let's see, we're back positive on sunstone. We are still positive on food, and we've got our wood maxed out, but I don't want to buy a spot yet just because if I buy it, this might move, and then we might be a SOL on the movement. All right, let's see how many people. Four more archers are spawned in and ready to go. Let's get them right there. And away they go. So one more person needs to be respawned. I'm assuming it's the last swordsman. Yeah, it's a swordsman here being resurrected. Oh, that's cool. It tells you who's being resurrected. All right, so we are now back to full strength. Uh, hey, nine, positive nine on sunstone, positive 10 on food. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade the stone tower. There we go. That looks a lot better. Let's get a pretty neat view of that. Everyone's ready for the fight. And hopefully we do pretty well. There's two two markers over here. And here they go. And I see a catapult already spawning in. Hopefully our archers start to attack them here very soon, especially the ones in the tower. Are they going to come this way? Or I wonder which way they're trying to go here. So hopefully the archers start to sing their bows here any second. There they go. And the first man falls down to our archers. The catapult is lining up. And there comes the first catapult shot right onto the, what looked like the side of the tower. Yeah, hit the side of the tower. Good thing we have this as stone. That should give us quite a bit of protection. It is starting to turn night here. More, more catapult balls coming at us. Looks like these guys are going to try and flank around. I'm only seeing one piece of siege equipment, so that's pretty good news. Hopefully our tower is able to withstand. Looks like we've already lost five archers, and they haven't fired a single shot. But that's okay. Six archers. I think we got plenty of archers up here. The catapult is about halfway gone. 180, 160, so that should just continue to fall. I'd rather it keep attacking here. Oh, and they already knocked it down. Good. All right, let's get these two guys here. Um, we will... We'll leave those guys there for now. I don't think, I don't see any other siege equipment, so unless it comes out of the fog, we should be in pretty good shape. We lost, what, eight archers? That's not the worst. And they're going to have to contend with the wolves here in a minute. Looks like they do have a couple of their own archers. Ten archers are down, so we lost everyone in that tower, plus I'm assuming the guy that was right here in the corner, it looks like. The wolves are coming in to help us out. Ooh, there goes one of our bodies falling down. The wolves are moving in to help us out and slow everyone down, but I think our archers should be able to handle this pretty well. Where's that arrow coming from? Is there someone over here? Yes. Every so often it seems like there's a, an arrow flying from a random spot. Oh, they're kind of coming up like that. All right, so they are raining arrows on those guys. Okay, we might need to start moving this group over here. Let's see. Now, I think they'll start to attack the wooden walls. Yeah, so let's go ahead and move our swordsmen over here just to protect. Hearing more and more people falling down. Yeah, it looks like they're damaging those walls. Not very quickly, but we need to take care of this sooner rather than later. Are the archers even hitting them? Eh, here and there they're hitting them. 
Okay, so this wall is about to collapse. Where's our swordsman at? Okay, one section is down. Okay, swordsman. Um, keep moving over here. This guy is slowing everyone down. Hopefully they make a turn and try to come this way. And our archers can pick them off. Another wall section goes crumbling. As long as they don't start knocking down buildings, they can do whatever they want. I think we're going to lose some of our swordsmen, but that's alright. I think we are in pretty good shape. This tower is starting to populate, so that means those guys are getting up there. Two guys over here. Only one swordsman left, but the archers should be able to knock these guys out pretty quickly. There we go. That guy goes down. And he's going to fall here very soon. Knocks down another wall section. And I believe this is our last moon person to knock out. Plenty of arrows flying at him and a swordsman. I don't know why our swordsman is running around. Just turn around and hit him. He's like one hit, my friend. There you go. Almost there. And we survived the night. We do take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. We survive. So let's figure out where this next attack is coming from. And it's going to be right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start moving some soldiers over. So let's get these nine archers, and we're going to move them to this tower. Our um, church will start to respawn the people we lost. So we will move them over seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then let's plop those guys right there so they can start to make that hike. And then we'll put everyone else uh, kind of, well, one more tower and then everyone else along the wall. Uh, we will definitely want to get some stone over there to protect that section. So we survived the night and make it to day 10. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and get our builders repairing these wooden walls, especially since we have plenty of wood. There we go. All right. So, hey, don't forget to like this video if you're liking my commentary. If not, down below in the comments, tell me how I can improve my commentary. I can improve my video quality, anything like that, because I want to make sure I'm making the best videos for you guys, uh, because this is that's what this is for. I want to grow ourselves a little community and uh, start to get to know some of you guys and play some of the games you guys are interested in me playing, so I can share all this wonderful stuff with everyone. All right, there's another nine archers, and we're going to move them over to that tower. So that's going to fill all three towers, and it looks like we'll have three or four archers left here. And we'll put them up on the wall. There they go. All right. So let's just start on this side and keep working our way over. It says three, but it's only showing me two unless it's hidden somewhere. Well, let's send them over there. Let's see here. Why was that only showing me two? Unless he's going up in the tower, which I don't think he should be. All right, let's go ahead and send those three over there, I guess. And that should be everyone as they work their way down the tower. Let's check the church here and see how we're doing on our respawns. Six archers ready to go. So let's go ahead and put them right there. And they can go ahead and get in position. Still six minutes until the attack. Uh, waiting for these walls to be repaired. Uh, what's this telling me? Not enough builders. The worker failed to reach his assignment. So is he stuck inside the... I wonder if he's stuck inside the castle and for whatever reason it's just too close. Uh, so we'll need to keep an eye on that. Sounds like we're having some pathing issues. So that's not good. All right, four more archers ready to take position on the walls. So let's send them up there and there they go. Four more people to respawn, so we're in pretty good shape. Plenty of money coming in. We are at negative 70 food. Um, because this is telling me, yeah, there's just a lot of pathing issues for whatever reason. Um, okay, I guess let's go ahead and tear that house down, see if that helps. Yeah, they're all caught in there. Um, try tearing that down too. Okay, let's uh, tear the wall section down. There they go. For whatever reason, that wall section was pinning them in place, it looks like. I don't know why. They are glitched inside that building, so that's not good. There we go. We got one guy out. But where are my other three fishermen? Hmm. I don't know. Let's go ahead and put another house up just so we have it, since we did tear that one down. 
I'll spin it around like that. All right, let's try it right there. Is there anyone caught in the houses? Yeah, there's a guy, a couple, four people caught in between these houses over here. Uh, I guess let's tear this one down, see if that helps. I think we just have things too closely stacked. I think it's because we had those walls be rebuilt and these guys are caught. Let's see if we can kind of, um, I guess let's tear that house down too. Yeah, I know we got negative happiness, but it's because you ding-dongs were caught in the houses. All right, so let's go ahead and what do we tear down two more? So let's go ahead and put two new houses in place. There we go, and we'll kind of scatter those about. And we are losing 91 sunstone and 70 food a minute. Hopefully this doesn't screw us over. Hopefully we're able to rebound from this. I think we should be able to rebound from this. Move this other archer up here. Looks like that section of the wall is full, so we'll plop him right there. And then we will grab our five swordsmen here in a second. Let's see, four here. And where is our survivor at from the attack? There he is. So let's move him over here as well. And we'll get ready for night number 11. So we got one house rebuilt. That's good. Another house built. So that is, we just need to go ahead and upgrade some of these, I think. So let's go ahead and upgrade that one. Oop, I did not mean to do that. That's okay. Wow, I am um, I am uh, screwing this up royally. So let's put a house here and a house here just to kind of spread everything out. And we'll upgrade a couple of these. There we go. And okay, so hopefully these houses get built here very soon. We need to put our wall back in place. Wood wall, 450, there we go. All right, that house is up. So let's, uh, we got 67 stone. Um, that's 100 stone to fix it, or make it to stone. 30 stone, so let's go ahead and get that tower. So I'm thinking we'll put our towers as stone, at least, because that's what the catapults will target. All right, so that wall's going up. The houses are up. We've got plenty of people. So I think we fixed the pathing issues, even though I kind of, Screwed the pooch and clicked the wrong button two, three times in a row, so that's quite embarrassing, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get those fishers back up and running, and then we will put another guy in the Builder's Guild, and we need our archery range rebuilt, so let's put that, um, I guess, let's put that over here-ish. No, I want that close to here, so you know what, we'll just go ahead and knock these two trees down. And we'll put our archery range right there and our builders will build that for us so we can build more archers when we have time we've got a minute and 55 for night number 10 attack two more stone and we can upgrade this tower that'll make me feel pretty good that this whole whole section is towered or made of stone towers does this double wall do anything does anyone know we might need to check that out here when we get the proper amount of wood See, we're back at nine sunstone a minute, so that's good. Our food is still at negative 20. We got the three three fishermen. Um, what is this to upgrade? 20 stone to upgrade that. Let's get the tower upgraded. There we go. So that all the towers are stone on that side, so that makes me feel a little bit better. All right, let's see what making the double-sided wooden wall does. All right, so now it's double-sided. Did that add to its health? 1,500, 1,500, so that doesn't really do anything. Um, we'll leave it as double-sided. Doesn't really give us any advantage, that's okay. All right, let's, um, let's spread these guys out a little bit. They seem very crowded over there. And we'll move these guys over here, so that way, I think having the more guys over here, just because these two towers are right next to each other, will be beneficial as the attack gets ready here in the next uh, 30 seconds or so. 23 stone. We could upgrade the church. No, no, we can't. I think we need to upgrade the boar hut or hunter's hut next and get another worker assigned there so we can make sure we have plenty of food because we are losing 20 food a minute here. Okay, our little kingdom is growing. That's exciting. Our really, mood's dropping a little bit. We are at positive, positive five, but hopefully uh, we can start to focus more on growing the kingdom rather than defending it 
as we get going. And it is night, so ooh, a siege tower. Look at that. I like that. I see some ladders back there too. So that siege tower is going to roll up on us here any second. Hopefully our archers are able to take it out. It does have 3,000 health. That's quite a bit of health. Now is there any... Ooh, two siege towers. Okay. Um, so it looks like they put the siege tower in. They still have to climb up the ladder. Plenty of troops spawning in. Some trolls. I don't see any archers, so at least that'll give us a little bit of time. Already knocking out some of the gentlemen pushing the siege tower. So that first one gets stopped in its tracks. Hopefully that means the second one will not be able to push right by, and it looks like it is going to push right by. That's okay. So our archers will continue to attack. And they've done a little bit of damage to it, knocking out some of the pushers on the other siege tower. So that's good. I saw that side. Looks like there's just one guy. All right, so they have stopped the siege towers for a minute. Plenty of arrows flying in. These guys are kind of... Ooh, my frame rate is not doing fantastic. What am I at? 10 or 11? Like I have said, I am playing on a potato of a computer. So you can kind of see why they're uh, glitching along here. So well, this might be the last episode because I know these armies are going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I don't know if my little computer can run it. But we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I think, because as you guys probably heard, we are getting... Quite a bit of money from Uncle Sam, so maybe I'll invest that in a nice little gaming computer. And I'm getting my tax refund soon, so we'll, we'll see what I want to do. But it looks like we are doing pretty well. We've knocked out most of the soldiers. Looks like it's a couple trolls and a couple of the swordsmen. And those swordsmen have dropped. The trolls have dropped. Now it's just uh, knocking out the siege towers. And one goes crumbling down. And that other one goes crumbling down. So we survive the night. Fantastic. Now the next attack is all the way over here, but I think we will hold that next attack for the next episode. So thank you guys so much for coming out and watching Tooth and Scrubs Gaming play a little bit of Be Castled. In this episode, we built the beautiful church right here, got all of our soldiers respawned, did a little bit of upgrading, screwed up on the housing, but that's okay. We were able to spread it out, and it looks like we fixed that pathing issue on the people. Started to build some stone towers, or at least upgrade our wooden towers to stone, and got some of our walls upgraded to stone as well. So that is very exciting. So please don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below on Be Castled. If you got yourself a little kingdom going, let me know how it's going. And as always, I'm still looking for feedback on video quality, commentary quality, because I want to grow as a content creator, and the only way I grow is to get feedback from all you guys. And lastly, please, if you don't mind, please subscribe to the channel so you get this great content on time and in orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next Be Castled video.